got really nice creative sound design technique now that could really help you with some track ideas. So this is to take a musical section of a loop and make a very, very short loop point on the loop brace and then to make copies of it to create some variety and different texture. So the beat that I've got running at the moment, this is what it sounds like. And I've got a musical loop that I like the sound of here. So let's have a listen. Now it's too loungy at the moment. I wanna make it more futuristic. I'm gonna drag this over. Have a look over here. Now I'm looking for something that's shorter. So what I'm gonna do is take the loop brace over here. If we have a look down here, the length, if I take it down to one, that's a nice texture. Let's check some other sections. I'm going to do is make a collection of clips. I'm going to keep that one where it is. So that's going to be loop one. I'm going to duplicate. And now on this one, we're going to move it over. So this is going to be loop two. I'm going to once again, duplicate, come over here, move it over. Now this is interesting. I'm not sure if this is going to work. We'll have a listen because I can see visually that the timing looks as if there's a hit sort of just after the start of that loop. Just rename this first and um, let's take a listen. Let's try moving this over from the start point over here to the left. Right, I think what we need to do is to basically drop in a warp marker here, pick this one up and move it over. It's working really nicely. Let's come back. It's like it's got a snare fill on the second one. Yeah, that's good. Now, let me show you something. If I was to bring this one over and to take this, and now on the length down here, I'm just going to do it numerically. We're going to take it to three. Visually, we'll need to make a little check here to see how the timing is. I might need to adjust it, but let's take a look now. Got a really nice triplet kind of flavor. Let's see how the second one sounds with the triplet as well. Let's take this out. That sounds great. So we'll call this loop one triplet. It's gonna be easier to see what's going on. So you can see what's going on here. It's the fact that we're creating these different loop brace lengths that gives us a really interesting set of textures coming through. And you could create a, a complete musical idea by taking short sections of something. And no one's gonna recognize this because it's just so short compared to the original. Now, another thing that we could do is to add some processing to the channel. So this is a method. So, you know, you guys go ahead, try it out with different sizes and, you know, create lots of different clips that you can use as variety in your track idea. But think also about, you know, processing the sound in different ways. So we could filter it, we could drop in some other audio effects. But one of the things that I wanna try on this particular example is to use a compressor. So we're gonna drop this in and we're gonna sidechain from the kick drum and whenever you've got anything constant, you're really gonna notice this kind of reduction in the volume from the actual kick. So it's gonna sound good because we know we've got something constant. So let's just have a look at the first loop. Now that's sounding lovely, just with a little bit of a reduction on the threshold there. No need for adjusting the other parameters at the moment. I think that sounds great. Let's check another one. 
and that's pulsing so nicely. Let me take the ratio up a bit more, a bit stronger. It's gonna lift the volume up my side. Now the triplet movement combined with the compression is really bringing that alive. Triplet again. And let's try with the auto filter. Sounding great. Maybe let's spice it up. Let's take the dry weight mix down a bit here. Open the filter up a bit. So it's a fantastic technique for composition, really helps you move forward without having to do too much work on the musical tip. So really, really nice bit of sound design there using the loop brace and multiple audio clips. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach it online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.